Studying this early in the morning? What have you done with my Alex? I'm not studying, Clover. I'm just checking out my horoscope. <laughs> Welcome back, Alex. I can't believe you're wasting your time on astrology when you should be focused on astronomy. As in that astronomy test? I'm not worried. Things will work out in the end. How do you know? Says so right here in my horoscope. Things will work out in the end. <gasps> hmm? Don't tell me you believe in astrology. That's no reason not to study. Yeah. There are way better reasons not to study, like all the boys in desperate need of scoping. Uh -huh. ah! Horoscopes can be totally accurate. Clover, yours says, a handsome stranger's smile will brighten your day. Hmm? Mm -hmm. oh. See? Sorry, that horoscope was way off. Yeah, he smiled, but he wasn't handsome. He was a total hottie. Let's check out yours, Sam. Your mood will be ruined by an irritating presence. Hey, Sam! Might want to get your nose out of the books and into a mirror. That outfit is so last week. <laughs> she has a point, Sam. Do you really think horoscopes are real? No. That outfit is a little dated. Oh. Speaking of dates, we have to get to history class. Is right again. It said a strange event will bring me and my BFFs close together. This must be it. <laughs> ah, hello, ladies. Sounds like a spot of trouble. There is a strange event going on. I know all about it, Jer. My horoscope already told me. Did it tell you there is something very odd happening on the beaches of the world? Oahu, Bora Bora, and Long Beach in South Africa. Your mission is to head to these beaches. Hmm? Ready? Hmm. Yes, I see that. But this is no beach vacation, Clover. You'll need to investigate the bizarre tide patterns at each beach. The alignment of the moon and the sun and the earth may have something to do with it. Hmm? You're into astrology too? What's your sign? Scorpio, Gemini? Focus. Your sign is focus? I was referring to the moon's effect on tides. When the sun and moon are aligned, there can be strong gravitational forces causing powerful spring tides, but not nearly this powerful. Oh. Here are your gadgets. A diamond swim ring, a jewel-encrusted turbocharged flotation device, a pair of groovy gravity boots, weighted boots that can help you defy gravity, a lunar lip booster, a mini rocket booster in the shape of a lipstick, and finally, 3D projector sunglasses that can project global images. Cool. Travel safe, spies. <laughs> But I'm still super psyched to hit the sea. Well, we're about to, in a big way. Brace yourselves! <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened to the water? Did we miss our mark? Oh, no, nope. we're right in the middle of the ocean. And over there is the bay. A waterless ocean? This makes no sense. Dudettes, I was stoked for Dawn Patrol. Totally amped for this epic set, ready to fully mack a double overhead corduroy to the horizon. Now it's all Shirley. Hey, I dig your suits. That makes no sense either. You're gonna translate that surf speak? <laughs> Fortunately, I speak surf. Check it. The surfer dude was about to catch a giant wave when the water got rough and then disappeared. Dude! Dude! Me and my salty sisters are gonna scope the jacked waves. Slater! Yeah, man. Ciao! Hmm. Impressive. Huh? <gasps> so is this? A starfish looking for water? No. The new friend my horoscope said I'd meet. We are gonna be BFFs. Best fish friends forever! A girl hugging a starfish. You don't see that every day. Huh? Mm -hmm. You don't see that every day either. The moon just appeared out of nowhere. 
Don't worry, I'll protect you. Oops. Alex? Please tell us that was your stomach. Ah! <gasps> the tide's coming back in! Chillax! It's all gonna end fine. My horoscope said so. Did it also say <laughs> to run? <laughs> we can't outrun the water, so it's either sink or swim or float. Activate the diamond swim rings. So that's why they say diamonds are a girl's best friend. Yeah. Watch out for the boys! What boys? Oh, those boys. Ah! Ah! Hey, look at all your fellow fishies flying by. Squid, jellyfish, octopi, shark. Shark? Ah! Later, bra. If you're ever in Cali, say hi. We should probably go too. Over here! <laughs> Worst beach trip ever. We barely got any clues, and I barely got a tan. Well, we do have one big clue. The moon appeared out of nowhere. But what does that have to do with the freaky tide patterns? Good question. Let's see if these 3D projector glasses can help with some answers. Mm, I can't see a thing. Oh, that's better. So the moon was definitely way far out of its orbit. And it was too close to Earth considering it was just the first quarter of the lunar phase. Wow. Someone snuck a peek at their astronomy textbook while they were sleeping. Oh, it wasn't me. I just read my horoscope. Does it say anything about a heat wave? Oh, it is suddenly mega hot in here. And out there. Ugh. Wow, hot enough for ya. Yeah, they are. I mean, yeah, it is. What can I say? I like boys in their summer fashions. <laughs> uh, but not all the boys. I don't see what everyone's whining about. I don't even feel the heat. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Hmm. Ladies, as impossible as it sounds, the sun seems to be getting closer to the Earth. It's a global emergency. I'm picking you up at once. Okay, so any idea why the sun and the moon are getting closer to Earth? I'm guessing it might have something to do with a weird beam firing up from the Earth to the sky. Hmm? I see no evidence of this on my computer. Where are you getting your intel? From my own two eyes. Look! Wow! Best laser show ever! That laser's not for show. In theory, it's supposed to counter the effects of black holes using super powerful anti-gravity forces. This must be what's affecting the sun and the moon. And the stars! I see no evidence of that. Well, that's because you haven't seen my horoscope. That beam changed star patterns, which changed my horoscope. Mm -hmm. And not for the better. Mm -hmm. The end is near. <gasps> they didn't say the end of what? I mean, maybe it means the end of all this trouble, or this hot weather, or just some lame fashion fad like leg warmers. I've tracked the beam to San Francisco straight ahead. Buckle up, spies. <laughs> Guys, you need to jump out now if you're going to make it to San Francisco. We're not leaving you, Jerry! <laughs> What's that whirlpool doing in the middle of the ocean? Besides sucking us in, swim for your lives!
capsule. But instead of outer space, it's underwater. Whoever parked it here has a terrible sense of direction. Hello, lady. Ah! I just sucked you into my underwater lair. Serves you right for following me. Wasn't that whirlpool ride fun? <laughs> I don't think she's gonna let us out of here. I do think she's out of her mind. Wait, you thought we were following you? We don't even know you. So, you've never heard the name Cosmo Stratus? Just once, when you said it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like everyone at the space agency, failing to see the genius in their midst, overlooking me for 15 space missions in a row. Hmm, kept failing the psychological tests, huh? Who told? You did, when you said, who told? <laughs> Ugh, those tests were totally unfair. I didn't even get to study. Well, space school's out forever, because I have a plan. If they won't take me to outer space, I will bring outer space to Earth! What? I'm scared to ask, but how are you gonna do this? By using a machine I've constructed called the Stratosphere Monger. With it, I am pulling the moon, the sun, and the stars closer and closer to Earth. <laughs> Out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> Out of your mind, huh? Before you go, what's your sign? Because maybe today isn't the best day for you to end the world? I don't believe in astrology. Too weird. to the phone right now. Literally. He's not answering. Okay, where's Cosmo? <laughs> That's one small step for me, one giant mess for mankind! <laughs> Time for some bird watching up close. Ah. Here, birdie birdie. Doing. You're supposed to be underwater. Yeah, we came up for air. So, what do you think of what I've done to the place? Isn't it a kick? <laughs> now it's a party. <laughs> but maybe we need to play a game. Tennis, anyone? <laughs> Shot is way over the line. <laughs> Slowest dive for cover ever. <sighs> All right, let's get her. 
these boots were made for stomping. Forget Cosmo. We need to focus on destroying the beam of light and restoring gravity before everything in the world starts to float off. The ray is coming from the top of the Golden Gate Bridge. But how are we supposed to get up there without becoming a human hot air balloon and floating off? I'll do it. The world needs us. Besides, my horoscope said everything will end well, and I believe it. You're not doing this alone. Hey! What about me? Don't worry, I'll take care of you. Too far! Too bad we're out of lunar lip booster so we can't blast our way to the top in the capsule! What if we put our diamond swim rings around the capsule? It's worth a shot! She made it to space. Too bad she'll be coming back to Earth courtesy of Whoop Authorities. <laughs> Big announcement, besties. Hmm? I was way wrong to believe in my horoscope. Oh, so great to hear you say that, Alex. Yeah, me too. So what made you come to your senses? <laughs> I read my horoscope. My real horoscope. <gasps> turns out I was reading the wrong sign. I totally thought I was a Taurus, but turns out I was wrong. I'm a Pisces, which makes way more sense because I love sushi. Want to hear my new horoscope? Pass. Uh, no thanks. A cute boy will say hello. Mm? Hello. Huh? Alex, you're right. He said hello. Cool. <laughs> oh, but it said that he was going to say hello to me. <sighs> so, goodbye to horoscopes for good. <laughs> 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 